All right. We've been building up to it all show long. The mm. Phoenix Mercury today hired Nate Tibbetts, assistant coach for the Orlando Magic, um, career assistant coach in the league, to be their new franchise head coach, um, super, uh, taking over for uh, Nikki Blue, who closed out the season for Phoenix after Vanessa Nygaard was let go earlier in the season. As Michael Vopel of ESPN said, uh, Nate has no previous experience in the WNBA and his only previous head coaching role was in the NBA's G League. And Tarika, I'm just going to turn it right over to you because I know you've been bursting at the seams to talk about this one. I just can't stand it. I can't stand it. I cannot stand how we are continuing to act as if there are no qualified coaches in the WNBA system, not even just not even in the NCAA women's basketball system. We completely look over all of the amazing coaches who we currently already have to go to the NBA to pick a guy who ain't never coached women's basketball before, who ain't never coached in a real head coaching role. No shade to the G League. I'm just saying the NBA is great. The NBA has a great coaching tree for for the NBA. But I just started this particular show by saying we have greats of the game in the WNBA and we have so many people who have been a part of the women's basketball uh, uh, trajectory from its infancy stages until now that it baffles me how we are making these decisions when it comes to selecting a head coach. I was critical when 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 the Sparks selected Derek Fisher. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was like, what are we, what are we doing? Who, I know that Derek Fisher can ball, but at the end of the day, what qualifies him to be a head coach at, uh, at this league? And that's the thing that kills me as well, because you're not just picking people off the street who ain't never coached in the NBA before ever at any level to be dubbed to be NBA head coaches. You ain't picking WNBA coaches to be head coaches. You ain't just shifting people from the women's game and throwing them in the men's game, but you will absolutely take someone with no experience and throw them in the men's game. And then, and then what really adds insult to injury is that this team was just recently coached by Nikki Blue a former WNBA player, a former coach on both the WNBA and the NCAA level. Like, you going to take her and then tell her, no, nah, we straight, after giving her your mess to clean up, because that's essentially what you did. You gave her your mess to clean up, and then mad that they only won seven games. Well, I mean, maybe if you had not hired Vanessa Nygaard from the jump, because we told you about that foolishness too, then you wouldn't be in the situation that you're in. But here we are. I feel like Matt Ishbia wants to do the right thing. He's invested money into a new facility. I love that. He's talked about how he wants to really galvanize this, the, the, the organization and get the fans to buy in and all this other stuff. And I believe that. But what you're doing right now is you're insulting the many people who have given years and time to this organization. And then on top of that, to put the icing on the cake, you do this crap three days after we just hear that Spoon got hired for the highest pay position in the league, bruh. Is this person better than Becky? We don't know. Like, and and I and I want to be clear. This ain't no shade to you, Nate, because Nate, I don't know you. I don't know. You could be a very good coach. You could be a great coach. But the point is, is that there are spots in this league that should go to people who are genuinely qualified to coach in this league. And you have not proven that you are able to coach in this league. It is ridiculous how people just throw opportunities to coach in the WNBA that they would never throw to people in the NBA. It makes me sick. And to be even more honest, y'all, Orlando ain't been good and I don't know how long. I don't even know if your assistant coaching business. Like, for real, for real, I don't even tr I don't even know if I trust you. Orlando ain't been nothing to write home about for me to even think that I could trust you. So at the end of the day, you know, and I don't want people to think I'm anti-male. I'm not anti-male because here's the thing. If you had gave this bag to Kurt Miller, who has been coaching in women's basketball from Bowling Green, all the way through now would have been great. He earned it. He deserved it. He's a winner. He's got the respect of the players. It makes sense. But who is this guy? Who are you? Who are you?
are you? What makes you qualified? People have to got, have to stop treating the WNBA like it's a throwaway league and you can just give anybody the opportunity. Head coaches need to earn their role in the W the same way they earn their role in any other professional sporting league. That's all I'm saying. I'll leave it at that. We all silly like the mayor. 